Hey guys, it's Kelsey here. I just have a quick little December favorites for you. I've been using a lot of the same products um, multiple times a week just because work has been really busy, um, going to see family and traveling and stuff, I've been using like the same products. So, short list, but let's get started. So I've seen this product mentioned by YouTubers like a bunch of times and I've finally tried it and it's the NYX slide-on pencil, which you can get at like Ulta and some drugstores and some random places, but it just goes on so easy. That was a really bad line, but um, once you put it on, they don't smudge and it stays really dark like the entire day. And they are just awesome. I'm gonna go back and get like a bunch of colors. I had a couple Christmassy nail polish favorites this, or I can't talk, this past month. And the first one is China Glaze's Ring in the Red, which is just like a bright, glittery red nail polish, which is like super festive. It's a little bit, I would say a little bit more orange than Ruby Pumps, which I don't have. My other nail polish favorite was from China Glaze, also in the Let It Snow collection, and this one is Twinkle Lights. And it just has gold glitter with some like red and green glitter in it as well. And for Christmas, I just had Ring in the Red on all my nails and Twinkle Lights just on my ring fingers. So it was like really pretty and fun. So on days when I'm feeling a little bit pasty, which to be honest is most of them, I've been using e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. And it's just, it looks like this. You can get it from Target. And I just use like a really fluffy brush and kind of do it over my cheekbones and then like down my nose and on my chin. And it kind of just like warms up my face just a tiny bit without looking too overdone or too shimmery. So I know I mentioned these in a lot of my favorites videos, but I do have a current new favorite Revlon lip butter and it is in the color Sugar Plum. And it's just kind of like a deeper mauve color, which has been nice like for the holidays when I don't want to wear something too intense and it doesn't kind of like overpower if I have a more interesting eye that I want to show off. Um, I have it on my lips right now. It does look a little bit more vibrant than it does on my camera though. But yeah, this has been my go-to color this month. I got a new perfume during the Black Friday sale online at Loxa 10 and it is the fragrance, um, you can't see it on the bottle, but it is called Immortelle de Corse and it's in the Voyage and Mediterranean. <laughs> Sorry, the pronunciation's awful. Um, it's in that line, and it has notes of Immortelle, which is kind of like honey-like, kind of like a sweet, dewy smell, and also has scents of rose, black tea, and kind of like hay-like, I would say. And it smells pretty sweet. It has kind of like a honey liqueur-like scent to it, but it's really, I don't know, it kind of evokes the idea of like sunshine and just like sun-drenched fields almost, I would say, <laughs> not to be too cheesy. But yeah, I've been wearing this a lot to work and I've been wearing it almost, I'd say four out of seven days a week, which is a lot for me because I have a lot of perfume and like to change it up because it's like a fun change to my outfit, you know? But yeah, this has been one of my favorite, favorite smells this month, and I really love it. I also have a new favorite Slotkin and Company candle, and that is Winter Cabin, and it has the scent of creamy chestnut, crisp cedar, pine, and cinnamon and cloves. And this has been like my favorite candle when it's really cold at night, because it kind of warms up your room almost. And I already went through one of the three wick candles and I just had one of these because I, I was testing this before I bought the three wick candle and I already went through all of it. So I'm kind of sad because I don't have any more. But if your Bath and Body Works still has one or if they have them online or something, I would definitely recommend buying this one because it smells really good. Another one of my favorites is my iPhone case, which says keep calm and carry on, which is from the British propaganda poster that was released by the British government during the Blitz during World War II. But <laughs> to go off of my Anglophilia, um, I got this from Uncommon Goods, or 
Uncommon Goods was selling it on Amazon, so I got it on Amazon. But yeah, I just love it because it's really cute and it makes me happy to look at. And lastly, my new favorite show that I just started watching is Downton Abbey, which is one of the masterpiece classics, I believe, on PBS. And it's just, it's set in early 19th, or early 20th century, like right after the Titanic. And it's just about this like grand estate and all the drama about the rich people that live in it and all the servants and stuff. So it has a lot of like juicy gossip and I just love like the period, how it really uses the period it's in, but it doesn't get overwhelmed by it. It's not just about the setting. It really has like strong characters and strong, like interesting drama and gossip and stuff. Yeah, and the first season is all on Netflix, on instant Netflix, so I would definitely recommend you go watch it because it is awesome. And I've been like staying up really late watching it because it's so good. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and tell all your friends about me. Alright, have an awesome day. Bye!